Well, guys, it is first day in pockets on another Sen Cut. You guys know I liked the last one that we had in, and this one's a little bit more special because it's a Ferrum Forge design. This is the Chiral. So let's go ahead, look at the logo, and then take a look at this really cool knife. So this is the Sen Cut Chiral, and this is on loan to me from my little buddy Nico. He picked this up at one of the shows. Uh, this is a Ferrum Forge Knife Works design, and you know I love most of their designs. There's only been a couple of their knives that I really even disliked a little bit. So you're looking at really nice sheep's foot blade done in 9CR18 MOV, which is a steel that gets overlooked a lot of times. It's got a PVD coated blade that's been, I believe it's PVD. I'm, I'm just guessing by the way the coating looks, but I imagine that's a PVD coated blade that then has been stonewashed, which gives it a really good effect and look. I don't dislike that. It's ground fairly thin behind the edge, but not ultra thin. So you're not giving up any stability of the edge, but you still have pretty good slicing capability. Even though it's a fairly narrow blade, they did a good job uh, grinding down and transitioning well. So a lot of times, even if it's not as thin behind the edge as it could be, once if you have a good transition where it doesn't bind, a lot of times that does a lot for the cutting capability. It is done in a liner lock with a flipper only. There is no aperture. There is no thumb. There are no thumb studs. Black micarta scales over top of steel liners. It's running on ceramic bearings and a ceramic detent and... For a budget knife, look down the center of that. That is perfectly centered. I know that I miss that a lot of times. It's one of those things that is not such a big deal to me, but some people have asked that I start adding that in. You can see in here, you got your cage ceramic bearings. A lot of people are like, oh, that's, there's too much gap there. I like that because I can absolutely put this. I know that I can blow this out with air compressor. I know that I can stick this under the sink, under some hot water and clean out those bearings without necessarily disassembling this knife. Deep carry pocket clip that is not uncomfortable in hand and allows you to carry this already slim knife up to the forward part of the pants so you don't have it in the way and you can carry a second knife. So if you wanted to carry this as a light duty cutter and a larger knife in a pocket, I typically do carry two knives in my pocket because it's always nice in case one gets dull, you have a secondary standby. I like the way they did the liners on this and polished them then coated them so that you have that pop. It's not necessarily a pop of color, but just that little bit of contrast between the backspacer and the liners. Now, speaking of the liners and the scales, this is another one of those knives that you're going to take the pivot out and then you have to take the scale off to access your actual disassembly hardware. So these are overlays, they're screwed on, and then inside there, you're going to be able to get access to your screws that you can actually take the knife apart. It's a way a lot of them are done. It does add a little bit of difficulty to the disassembly, but the nice thing is this is a double-sided pivot. So regardless of which side you want to take off, you don't have, you're not stuck taking it apart from the lock side, which means you would have to take off the pocket clip and you do have a reversible pocket clip. Then, you know, so if you are a lefty, you can put that in your pocket. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. So that's the good stuff about the knife. So Let's turn it around and I'll tell you the couple small little bad things that I have found, which are very, very minimal. Just a couple small, small things on this. Uh, it's a little thin for my hands, in, in my opinion. It does, uh, it does have a tendency to be a little thin in hand, uh, and which means when you got big, if you have big hands, it might not feel as comfortable. It's just, not only is it thin this way, it's thin this way, which means it's a nice slender EDC carry. But for somebody with larger hands, that can that can be not the most comfortable knife to use. And then this is the first knife that has had a big choil that just didn't feel, it feels out of place on this knife. Uh, typically, you guys know I am a fan of a forward finger choil, but on this one, it just feels unusual. Um, it does not feel like it adds anything to the cut. I don't feel like I have any more control or anything moving forward a little bit. And so in this case, I would have preferred to just have a little bit more edge because I've noticed I'm not using the choil and I have had, I know people complain about choils. I have had on this knife 
a tendency to catch material in the choil and rip before it would cut when I was cutting some cardboard. I can get up on it. It is a full finger choil for pretty much. If, if I can get a full finger in there, almost anyone can. I have got big banana fingers. So um, that would be my only things, and except for maybe I would like to see the pocket clip be a little a little not a little thinner, you know, not as tall. It's a nice deep carry pocket clip. It's not real. It's not posing an issue. I said, it's not a hot spot. It's pretty comfortable, but I think that it would, I can, I know it's there. It's not uncomfortable. I just wish it was a little lower profile, just a little thinner. You know what I mean? So those are the only things I've noticed. Action's good. Everything else on it is really good. So um, I will put a link to this down below if you're interested in purchasing it. And we're going to turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. Just that real quick first day look at the Sencut Chiral. And it it definitely is a nice little knife. Uh, I, those negative things I said, there's a good chance that I may change my mind over the, the next couple weeks. So that's typically how it works, you guys. If you're new to the channel, I'll get a knife in. I'll do the unboxing. Then I do first day in pockets. I don't know anything about the knife. I have no idea what this knife costs or anything like that. And then I will work my way into it and see how the knife does over a longer term carry, usually about two weeks. Sometimes it takes me longer to get to the final video on some knives, uh, depending on how good, how well I like them. Sometimes they spend more time at pocket. So I am pretty impressed with this. One of the things I did not mention is it does have that downward curvature that I like in a lot of knives. So it's kind of squat and into the cut. It's not as pronounced on this knife. So guys, that's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. It's the best way you can support the channel outside of doing it financially, any interaction with the video, like, share, subscribe, drop a comment. Those all help. If you've got any questions or you have any comments or things that you would like to see me address in a video, drop them in the comments. I'll address them if I can. Um, just keep in mind, there's a lot of comments that come in. I've got over 2,000 videos. It's hard to keep up on those. Guys, there's a bunch of financial ways you can support the channel. We'll run through them real quick. I have got an Amazon store down below. Take it, pin it to your browser, any shopping you do on Amazon, use that. It doesn't cost you anything, and it definitely gives me a little bit when you check out. Um, I have got the sponsor, Coffee Brand Coffee. I also have Tempered Trail. They share the same coupon code. You saw the thing in the intermission, in the, in the cut. Um, it's crazy sharp, all one word. Uh, you use caps, it's, it's not cap sensitive. And I have got a membership that's tier based. All three tiers get access to my Gilded server, which is just like Discord. It's a chat server. Baseline and premium tier members are entered into giveaways where I do give away knives off the YouTube, so it's separate from the things that I give away here on the channel. And I have got a, a premium tier that has access to the sharpening tutorial series that I've built here on YouTube behind that paywall. I'm going crazy today, my brain is going nuts. So guys, I love you all, keep it clean in the comments section if it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.